So I mentioned previously that at the Egyptological conferences I've presented at, I've received uh, affirmation enough to make me believe that you know my work is, is credible among, among the experts. And one example of that is probably the leading forensic scientist on the Giza Plateau for the past four decades is Dr. Mark Lehner. He's done the painstaking and in many ways unglamorous work of sifting the soil and finding out who the people were that built these monuments. And those of you in the alternative communities that constantly slam him with hiding something, uh, you know, go, you, you, if, you, if you could do as much homework as he's done in your field, you might have something to do that more than point a finger at him. You might have something to present the world without having to point fingers at somebody else. Dr. Mark Lehner is a forensic scientist to the max, a great surveyor and an honest person. Now that I've said that, I want to say a word about the difference in the approaches that the Dr. Mark Laners have for myself. I don't call myself an Egyptologist, you know, sometimes colloquially or something when it's used in a generic way, but I call myself an independent researcher because that's what I am. Dr. Mark Laner is an archaeologist and an Egyptologist. The differences in approaches, Dr. Laners is based totally in empirical science. He was once an Edgar Cayce spiritual fanatic and he was transformed here in Giza to become a traditional fact-based, empirical-based scientist. Independent researchers my, like myself, I can read books by you know, Andrew Collins, by Gary Osborne, people who, who have uh, different views, who are not grounded or are not forced to stay connected to the Egyptological establishment. And you can get big ideas. The study of the wealth of, of hidden truth that, that both groups are engaged in are complementary. They should be. And I'll make the analogy to the market. In the market, the, what, for instance, I'm from Chicago. They used to say it was the largest market in the world, you know, the Chicago Board of Trade. You know, people buying and selling things all, all over the world there. And you have two kind of people that are, that are in that market. You have people that are representing, you know, companies like, you know, Nabisco. And so they want to keep the price of their cereal, their cookies. They, they want to keep it level. They don't want to have to keep changing the price of cookies because the price of sugar, the price of flour is going up and down. The, fluc the, things that, the fluctuation that happens in the market. So by being able to buy futures contracts, they can lock in a price in the future and therefore stabilize their product. So those kind of conservative investors, if we can call them in the marketplace, are the Dr. Mark Laners. The consistency of scientific, the scientific approach started by Dr. Flinders Pitry and continued the, 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 the rules they follow to keep things uh, scientific, to keep them em empirical, to keep them fact-based, that's a conservatism. On the other hand, you have in the market speculators. People who buy and sell to make money, not to keep the price of their product uh, the same everywhere. They're not buying for Nabisco, they're out to make money. And so the speculators are the ones that, that are engaging in speculating in these futures prices, buying and selling, you know, short or long for, for different commodities. And the speculators, because they're doing that, they provide the ability for the more conservative members of the market that are buying for companies and want to stabilize prices, they, that, they allow that to happen. So you need in the marketplace both the speculators, that's the independent researchers like myself, and the empirical scientists like Dr. Mark Lehner, who keeps stability in the society, we could say. So uh, I, I've told Dr. Lehner uh, that I often defend him against the alternative people who, you know, say his, uh, he's hiding something or he doesn't see the ancient high-tech civilization that's here, you know, his, his forensic eyes are blinded to that. You know, I defend him all the time because I think he does look at the forensic evidence and he sees that the, the advanced ancient high-tech civilization is the Egyptian civilization. And I could go on about that. So, there's a place for both of us. Independent researchers, Egyptologists, 
And while there, of course, are going to be differences of opinion, and I couldn't expect Mark, Dr. Mark Lehner to take the perspective I do, because I bring in theology, I bring in philosophy, I, I bring in uh, esoteric thinking. That's part of what an independent researcher, a speculator, brings in. And he can't do that. But I hope there would be some level of respect for each side, that while we might not agree with all the parameters the other's operating with, we're human beings trying to sort out truth. Is that right? Because that's what I am. All right. Let's get at it. Yeah. Not allowed. Yes, I, uh, th this is a camera and this is a tripod. I paid for the tripod. I paid for the tripod to come in. I, I, okay, but I, I I paid for the camera, for the tripod, and then this. I, I'm taking pictures. Why, why is that not allowed? I'm taking pictures.